hello guys welcome back to my channel today's video is all about nothing gist and um, I will be sharing from my life experience okay all right um, something happened November 2021 there was something I was supposed to do as a nurse practicing in the UK which I did not do and it was because of ignorance i didn't do it and so i received a message telling me that my ns nmc pin has become lapsed and um the implication was that i won't be able to practice as a nurse for a short period of time until i sort it out okay uh, the good thing was that i sorted it out and i'm still working as a nurse but i need to share this with you because someone might be ignorant of that and might make the same mistake i made okay so if you are a nurse or you know someone who is a nurse practicing in the uk then please you need to watch this video and share to them as well so that they will learn from my mistake okay all right and um in case you're seeing my face for the very first time or coming across my channel for the very first time my name is Ole Bimoneme and i live and work in the uk as a nurse and on this channel is all about uk lifestyle not seeing g's and other information you need to migrate to the uk okay all right so if this sounds like what you are interested in now let's get straight into the video hey guys welcome back to my channel once again in today's video is all about nothing gist and i'll be sharing my experience with you guys okay all right so basically there was something i was supposed to do as a nurse which i didn't do and um it led to me receiving that shocking message so for the sake of this video i will be sharing with you how i received that shocking message and i will read out the message for you guys to see what led to that and what i did to solve the problem and also to prevent it from happening in the future okay all right so um it happened that um sometimes last year around november 2021 while i was still on my maternity leave I decided to do my 10 days keeping in touch you know when you are maternity leave here in the UK you are entitled to 10 days keeping in touch meaning that you can work for 10 days whilst on maternity leave and the purpose is also for you to get familiar with your workplace so that everything will not look so strange when you finally return back to work okay plus the extra cash is very important so guys um i was doing my math leave and my mom was there with me it was almost time for her to go back and i needed to do this keeping in touch days i needed this extra money okay so i started my kid days um for i've done four days it was remaining six days and um one morning i received this message from my manager i'll read it for you guys on a fateful morning like that, I received this message. It says, Hi Oli, please can you contact me ASAP? It's with regards to your NMC pin. Have you paid this? I've had notification to say it's been lapsed. You are not able to work at present or practice as a nurse until this is sorted, so your kid days will be cancelled. Guys, when I read this message, I was like, Oh my God, what could have happened? So I said, Hi, good day hi Ali, have you paid your nmc it's showing as lapsed so i said i paid after i passed exam i didn't receive notification to pay again honestly i didn't know that i am supposed to be paying my dues yearly i didn't know about these guys so if you're a nurse in the uk please you need to be paying your yearly dues 120 pounds to keep your name on the register okay so i was ignorant of this and um i didn't pay my dues and it led to NMC counseling my pain. Okay, so my manager told me it's been paid yearly. I said, Oh, if I pay now, what will happen? So she responded, You have paid the NMC, you need to, I don't know whatever she meant, but she's just telling me that you need to pay the NMC yearly so that you will continue to be on the register. You need to contact the NMC ASAP as at present you are not able to practice as a nurse. So I said, okay, thank you for the information. I will pay ASAP. She said, once you have contacted the NMC, you need to let me know what has been said so I can sort out work. Okay, I will update you. Thank you. So guys, honestly, I didn't know that 
I didn't know that um, I'm supposed to be paying 120 pounds yearly okay but that is the rule here so because I was new to the register I didn't know about this and I'm pretty sure that some other people that are also new to the register won't know about this because it also happens to another of my colleagues at workplace after it happens to me so you need to pay your NMC yearly dues 120 pounds so that your name will continue to be on the register because if not sorting this out was very stressful you know when this happened i was like oh my god what am i going to do i tried to log into my nmc online account and i was not able to do that so i had to look up for their contacts and i called nmc uk i explained everything to them telling them that i'm still new to the register and um i didn't even receive any notification prior to this I have no idea that I'm supposed to pay this yearly dues. And so um, I began the readmission process. Guys, it was so stressful. You need to get three referees, so many other things that you will feel online so that your name will come back to the register. Okay? So um, I followed the whole process. When I called um, NMC people and asked them how long this process will take for me to sort out all those things and go back to work, they told me it's going to take like two to six weeks. Guys, by two to six weeks at that time, my mom must have gone and I won't be able to do that skipping in touch days. Okay, so um, I started with the process. I contacted three people from my work place to access my referee i contacted my employer i filled all the paperwork and sent to them but luckily for me mine took only three days only three days and um i got my pin back and i received the message i will share the message with you guys i received the message dear only bernadette we've accepted your readmission application you can now log into NMC online to view details of your registration. That includes any payment received and statement of entry certificate. You will also be able to print this document. All right. And I was very happy because I was going to continue my kit days and get the extra cash that I needed. All right. So um, what did I do after this? I learned my lesson. I went to my bank immediately and set up direct debit for them because me, I don't want any story next time. So I set up direct debit for them to be taking it every year. So once it's October next year, they will take up the direct debit by themselves without me having to remember it. So as a nurse practicing in the UK, I will advise, especially if you are new to the register because this kind of thing happens to people that are new on the register like you haven't renewed you haven't done this before so it's likely that you will forget or it's likely that you don't even know about it so it's best for you to go to your bank account and set up direct debit so that NMC will be collecting their dues every year you can set it up quarterly you can set it up three times in a year they can divide the 120 pounds you can pay it two times in a year and you can pay it off once it depends on you but please you need to set up your direct debit because it's your responsibility to know when you will pay your annual dues in as much as nmc they're supposed to send notification but in my own case they did not send so it's still your own responsibility to know when to pay and it's also your responsibility to know when to do your revalidation it's done every three years all right guys we've actually come to the end of this video and i would like you to give this video a thumbs up click that like button if you like this video and share to those that might need this okay people that it might benefit and um don't forget to subscribe okay subscribe 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 so that this ministry will go to permanent sites all right thank you guys and um I will see you in my next video for now. Bye-bye.